Hey guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HEB coach. In today's video, I have a fun way that you can teach your kids how to build their vocabulary and learning sight words. All right, so grab yourself a notebook or a sheet of paper and some sort of thing to write with. And to start out, this is for the little ones. We are just going to start out with a letter. So let's say we start out with the letter A. I'm gonna go over what the sound that the letter A makes, so a ah or a, uh. and then you can go over a few different things that start with the letter A, like apple, and show them that apple, right, starts with the letter A. So this is what you can do. You can do this through the whole alphabet. Then if you have a little bit of older kids and they do know what the sound of A makes, and let's say they know what the sound of T makes, and we put those next to each other. We have a and t. So at, a and t. So at. You tell them you, you separate the two, and then you put them together, and you have your sight word at. So then you can even, for older kids, or if your child understands this right away, you can maybe add a letter in front. So now we have k, a, t, then we have cat, right? So by adding, let's say you have the letter T over here, and then you tell your child, okay, now add a letter to it. And let's say they do O. Then you say, sound it out. So you say t, o, or t, u, right? So you kind of experiment with the sounds and then you realize, oh, it just says two. So you can do this with all different letters. Let's say we want to start with, say a random letter. Okay, let's start with D. Now give a random letter, random letter, random letter. We'll do D. Let's do this word. D, A, D. They say, oh, dad. Or they might not get it at first. And then you say, okay, sound it out again. D, A, and D. D, A, D. Right? So you can do this throughout the whole alphabet. Or you can even experiment with one letter. Let's do the letter E. So we write the letter E. And you practice putting things in front of it, behind it. And let's say we want to do the, let's do this. We have in front of it now. So B, E, B. And let's say we want to add a T to this. So this is actually going to change the way that the E sounds. So we're going to have now say B, E, T. Instead of beat, it's B, E, T. So you can do that with any form of the letters and you can put them together and you can even practice on a whiteboard so you can cross out. So then you can then just quickly erase, let's say the front or the back letter and then just keep adding different letters and sending them out. So if you're doing this with younger kids and they aren't able to really get the sound of the letters yet, you can always do the sound of it and then put it in any sort of song. So you can say A is for apple and then you can say a, ah, a, ah, a, ah, or you can say a, a, a. Then you can say a is for alligator, a, ah, a, ah, a, ah. and you can do this with all the letters in the alphabet and they'll be singing it all day long and they won't, they won't ever forget what the letter A makes. 